Fortunate mendicant bruiser is, when him at the ape and in his crisp grey, linguist to his illness of quentin. To babe and Adam omnis, ever abounded each in days. Non aeti omnis isti, qui loquendi Galilee so. Ec pro modo nos adivimus, onus crisp grey, Lingon of Jimin Quanati so moves. Pathi et medi et lamite, equi habita in Mesopotamian, idea capito sin pontum et azam. Virgin mit Pamphilion, Egyptum et Paris libe, que es circus serene, et avendi Romani idea proque, apostolate credit serabes, adimus es loquentes. Nostris linguaris magnalia dei. Alleluia, alleluia. Emite spiritum tuum et creabum tuum. Et renovabis fai. In illo tempore, 
Dixit Jesus to Shippelosaurus, Secrets to the good May, Smyrna May, and Savavit, Et Potamas to the good Aeum, Et Ad Aeum Veniemos, Et Mansionum, Abode and Pachiemos, Qui non to the good May, Smyrna's Maeos non Savavit, Et Smyrnum Quemeti Istis, Non es Maeos Sedeos Qui Misset May, Patris, Eclocodus on Volpis, a put false men in Paracletus, heart and spirit of Sanctus, Quemita Pater in nomine mea, Ili vos decevit omnia, Et sugerit verbis omnia, Que congre dixero vobis, Pacem mele quo vobis, Pacem me in do vobis, Non quam modo mundus dat, Ego do vobis. Non, non te veto co vestrum, necre vomite, adiistus quia ergo dixi vobis, vade et venia ad vos, si deliberatus me caderitus udique, quia vade es patrum, quia pate maie me es, et nox dixi vobis pus gram fiat, o compactum requitatis, Vene pian no morto lo qua vobiscum, vene dem principesus mundo huius, et in me non habet qui quam, sed o cognos cat mundus, quia diligo patrum et sicut mandatum, dedit mici pater sic fahatio. Notices for this Pentecost Sunday. Uh, please take home a copy of the bulletin and please read it if you haven't already done so. Uh, Amber days this week, uh, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. Children's Legion of Mary Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, adults on Friday. Uh, cafe has a Pentecost menu. Uh, tarragon Dove of Pentecost Chicken with the fruits of the Holy Ghost garden salad and Dove of Pentecost curry fly away chicken and rice. Um, donations to help with the running of St Martha's Cafe would be grateful to receive. Uh, the FTOS is still not working. Hopefully that will be fixed, but if you want to get anything, you can just put it on a tab. Um, the confirmation and first communion is organised for the public holiday in Chittering at the end of the pilgrimage at 1pm. Further details in the bulletin. Uh, thank you for all your prayers and good wishes and kindness on my 27th anniversary of priesthood and for the exposition and prayers held at St Anne's on Friday for a special intention for the parish. Uh, this was successful and a blessing and more information will be provided uh, when it is available in the next few weeks. Uh, vigil of Pentecost water available at the entrance. Uh, the Marian pilgrimage is on that long weekend as well, walking up to Chittering. Uh, you can get a copy of the program and see Tin and After Mass. Uh, and there's a special family stage at 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. on the Saturday uh, along the pavement. So that's an easy walk for families, just an hour walk on the Saturday as part of the pilgrimage. Uh, they're still looking for a coach size bus for the upcoming pilgrimage. If anyone knows who might be able to hire one and would obviously pay for the petrol and so forth to use it. Uh, more scripture studies are available on this Wednesday uh, in the hall with Father Limborn studying St Paul's Epistle to the Corinthians. And St Irenaeus Catholic Youth Club uh, meets next Saturday after the 4.30pm Sun Mass at St Anne's. 
uh, details for that in the bulletin. And uh, wish you all a happy Pentecost, the birthday of the church, and you're reminded that this sermon is different to the email sermon and the one given on the YouTube channel. Now we hear in the epistle today that when the days of Pentecost were drawing to a close, parted tongues of fire settled upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Now the statement in today's epistle reminds us that Pentecost was a holy day observed by the Jewish people, even before it became a Christian holy day. Now Pentecost is a Greek word which refers to the 50-day interval between Easter and this day, which we commemorate the descent of the Holy Ghost. Now in the Old Testament, they had 50 days from the beginning of the Passover, which marks the beginning of the harvest, and till the end marked with the offering of two loaves of white for eaten wheat and flour after 50 days, which was uh, today. Now the Gospel decides, uh, describes a miracle, in one sense twofold, that the Apostles spoke in tongues, meaning that everyone could understand what they were saying. But God granted them more than the ability to speak in tongues. Uh, for our purposes today, it is more significant that in, despite this miracle of languages, not everyone believed. Perhaps not all of them understood for if we lead a little further in the Acts of the Apostles, we will find that there were disbelievers, that they took them speaking in various tongues to be nothing more than the babbling of drunk men full of new wine. Yet the miracle in one sense is in spite of their disbelief, St Peter filled with the Holy Ghost got up and preached a sermon which demonstrated in a very few words that Jesus was the fulfilment of the prophecies of the Old Testament. And not only were some convinced, uh, they were filled also with compunction as our Peter said that Jesus was both Lord and God and Christ whom you crucify. At this they asked, what should we do? And Peter said, you must repent of your sins and be baptised, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, and you also will receive the Holy Ghost. And scripture records that that day about 3,000 souls were baptised. Now, one might say the miracle was this contention to address the crowds. The ability to convince them was even a greater miracle than the gift of languages. For this example of Peter was the example for the apostles and saints through time and all the ages the demonstration that even those who could not be converted by miracles could still receive the divine gift of faith through the work of the Holy Ghost and the preaching of the truth. So this is a powerful lesson to all priests and to all of us who through confirmation have been made soldiers of Christ. Now amongst young priests there is the uh, notion that they will bring many people to Christ by simply learning the principles of the faith with great precision and being able to teach these principles in an articulate manner. As we know, most people don't think with their mind. Occasionally somebody is converted simply by the truth of the gospel. And one might say Cardinal Newman was one of these people. But most people are more converted by the heart People do not think with their minds, they think rather with their hearts and are often not even convinced by the most finely honed truth or doctrine. For just a little further in the Acts of the Apostles, we see the deacon Stephen being stoned to death in return for his truthful eloquence and doctrine of the faith. So the hearts which, which people think may be reached in some degree through, of course, good example that Peter was willing to stand up to them, to preach the truth to them, in season and out of season, and even amidst a hostile crowd. And this had to count for something. But good example, of course, is not enough. Only those can be converted to our Lord who have received God's grace, the first grace of conversion. God must touch their hearts for their minds to believe. God must touch 
uh, the heart to help us believe. Now, if as soldiers of Christ we're concerned about drawing our children to our Lord, or even our friends or neighbours or our nation, then ultimately we must be people of prayer, nourished with God's sacraments and filled with the Holy Ghost. Only this divine and personified love of God can ultimately touch the hearts of the lukewarm and the unbelieving. For as the sequence of the church which we hear today in a liturgy after the epistle says most eloquently, If thy take thy grace away, nothing good in man will stay. All his good is turned to ill. Heal our wounds, our strength renew. On our dryness pour thy dew. Wash the stains of guilt away. Bend the stubborn heart and will. Melt the frozen, warm the chill. Guide the steps that go astray. O come, Holy Ghost. Now, as we know, we celebrate a whole octave of Pentecost each day to pray for one of the gifts of the Holy Ghost. So every day in Pentecost, there's a special gift prayed for. So I'm going to remind you what those seven gifts are, which all our confirmees will have to learn off by heart, but what they are and what they do. Wisdom, to direct our lives to God. Understanding, to know the mysteries of faith. Counsel, to warn us of the dangers to our eternal salvation. Fortitude, to give us strength to do the will of God. Knowledge, so that we may discover the will of God. Piety, to love and obey God. And fear of the Lord, so that we may dread sin and make our way to heaven. So those one last time. Wisdom, to direct our lives to God. Understanding, to know the mysteries of our faith. Counsel, to warn us of the dangers of our salvation. Fortitude, strength to do the will of God. Knowledge so that we may discover the will of God. Piety to love God. And fear of the Lord that we may dread sin and thus make our way to heaven. So on this great day of Pentecost, let us all ask for an increase of the seven gifts of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Ghost.
Concept of Salatar Bismonogy, Et Divin Institutione Formati, Adehemos Dejure, Pater Noster, qui es in Cheli, Sanctimus Eterna Homen Tuum, Adveniat Renium Tuum, Thea Voluntas Tua, Sic Ord in Cielo Et in Terra, Panum nostrum quotidianum da nobis odie, et dimit in nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos unducas in tentazione.
Doctus et repente de cielo sonus advenient spiritus rementis. Ubi erat sedentes, alleluia. Et repleti sunt omnes spiritus sancto. Loquentes magnalia dei, alleluia, alleluia.
Dominus Fisk. Initium Sancti Evangelii Secundum Johanna. In principe verbum verbum podem et deser verbum agadum bitchu podem. Omnipsa facta sorda sinis in facta best nigi for facta mes. Initia vita ad vita lux omnum. Ad lux intensitae et enime no comprendu. Plea domus musatea commendo morat gehanum. Even testament testament in prayer to lumina. Domus cadere in prayer to lumina. Non erida lux a testament in prayer to lumina. Ere lux vera quae lumina domnum omnum benindum mundum. In mundo de rad, mundo se facta ses, mundo se noctus nevi. In propter vanidal sorum eam non de chipra, quoquadam de chipra neam, dedideus prasnan infidius de infiri. Escrimine es gri non ex inguinus nequeus fallen canus nequeus fallen tade vir, sed ex de nati sunt. Et verbum caro factum et habita vidinu. Et vidim escrimine es quoquesi ingenier patre, venim gratiae et veritatis.